Hi everyone. Today we're going to be looking at the Do More PLC and we're going to connect to that in Advanced HMI uh, program. And this program uh, called Advanced HMI actually communicates to the uh, Do More via Modbus TCP protocol. So what we can do is we can create a PLC with HMI training and learning environment. And one of the best things, this is absolutely all free. So if you haven't already done so, go to the, the Automation Direct and you can program the Do More Designer software. And for the advanced HMI download, the first thing we will need is the Visual Studio loaded on your computer and the latest uh, Visual Studio community is uh, 2015. So we go to here and just go download. Then once that's downloaded you go to Advanced HMI download and then we can download it. It's on version 3.99. So once we have those things loaded we're all set to go. So with the communication What's going to happen is with the Modbus TCP, we have to read and write to different areas of the uh, PLC. So address 4000 and uh, or 40001 and 40002 are going to be addresses which we're going to write something to and we're going to read from. And then we're going to uh, use MC1 as a bit to reset. And what we'll do is we'll display a digital uh, meter. So once we've downloaded the software and it comes as a zip file, we have to extract that zip file. And in there, you'll find this uh, program right here. It's a solution file. And what we have to do is double click on it. It will actually call up your Visual Studio community and you will get something similar to this screen here. Now the first thing we need to do is build the project. And so it's all built. Then what we'll do is we're going to add our driver to it. And under the left hand side here we'll hit toolbox. We'll go to Modbus TCP and we'll drag this onto the form. You'll notice it comes down here and now we can assign the IP address. Now I know our address for the PLC is 192.168.1.3 and the default, default port is 502. When we go to the PLC program I'll show you where I got those values from. The next part is we add a visual uh, control. So we're going to add under the toolbox again, digital panel meter. And once again, we'll drag that to the desktop. Make that a little bigger. And over to the right hand side, you will find different parameters like our background color. We can change that to black. Then we go down. You'll see because we only have the one driver listed, the Modbus TCP, it shows up as the communication part. Now our keypad is what we're going to enter. We're going to, we said we're going to enter address uh, 40,000 and 2. And our PLC address value, so the value that's going to be on this digital panel meter, will be 40,000 and 1. So now that we have our digital panel meter, we're going to also put a reset button on here. So we're going to we're going to do a momentary button. So again, from the toolbox, we look up momentary button, and we'll drag it to the form. And over here on properties, we'll change this momentary button to reset. And we'll change the foreground color so we can see that a little better to black. 
and our button color we'll change that to blue and then again for our communication when we click this we want address 0, 0, 0, 0, 0001 so that's all the programming that we need to do for our advanced HMI so let's look at the PLC program and we'll call it up now I already have it programmed in here and I have it going incrementing by one on a internal clock bit once it gets above 4000 it moves zero back into that MHR1 which is the value that's the what we're going to read that value from the uh, advanced HMI digital panel meter display then I have once we get input MC1 which is that uh, reset button we're going to move whatever's in 2 H, H, or MHR2 into MHR1 again so it's going to reset that and then what we have is our simulator just to show you some reaction we can also turn on X0 and that will turn on Y0 and then we can use the slide on our simulator and I'll just call this up it lights up and then I can use this slide to dictate what my value of MHR1 is going to be. So let's call, go back to the advanced HMI and we just have to now play this. And it will actually come up on the screen. And we can see the values coming up So we'll hit reset, or first of all, we'll hit the digital panel meter. And on here, we can enter a value. We'll, we'll say zero for now, enter. So every time I hit reset, it turns back to zero again. If I hit one, two, three, four, hit enter and hit reset, then it starts at one, two, three, four and counts up. So we can also go drag this over here and we'll go to our simulator I'll turn this on and now we can change the value and you can see it changing we'll turn that off and then it starts counting up again so you can see it's very easy to create a HMI um, with advanced HMI and it's very powerful it uses the Visual Studio uh, environment so we can do uh, full SCADA if we'd like to and you can modify the code at will okay that's it for now thanks for watching